Thank you very much. Come out to the uh, Pink Martini concert. That's a catchy name. July the 26th at the beautiful New Gill Yard. Stephanie Scheip, along with Sterling DeVries, are here with more. Uh, this is a very unique concert. It's at the it's at the refurbished Gill Yard Auditorium. I, I hate to say it's an auditorium because now <laughs> there's just so much more that's there. For people who have not been to the Gill Yard since it reopened uh, late last year, one of the most painstaking concert halls that anybody has ever been to just absolutely gorgeous acoustics are impeccable somebody can stand on the stage and talk just like this and somebody all the way up in um, uh, the further seat away can hear them perfectly clear it's it's just a great place for a venue but the Pink Martini, what is this all about? Well, we're really excited about this um, concert. Mm -hmm. um, it's a small orchestra. Um, they're internationally renowned. They've played everywhere from the Kennedy Center to Royal Albert Hall in London. Mm -hmm. um, and so they're just really unique. They play international music, they play jazz, they play traditional old standards. Mm -hmm. um, but one of the things that we're really excited about um, them is they reached out to us mm -hmm. um, about um, music education sure. and um, folks some folks don't realize that the uh, Gillard Center is a nonprofit, mm -hmm. and one of the things that we're passionate about is music education as well. Mm -hmm. So we were so excited when Pink Martini um, mm -hmm. asked us if there was an opportunity to get involved in music education here in Charleston, mm -hmm. um, because they play such unique music um, and appeal to such a wide variety of people. Um, and um, we have an education program this summer mm -hmm. with our jazz orchestra. Mm -hmm. Um, Stephanie Youth Jazz steps Orchestra, in with, which with Sterling well. can tell yeah. us a little bit Sterling, about that. Me, yes. yes. So, part uh -huh. of our education initiative, uh -huh. we are hosting a Youth Jazz Orchestra camp, wow. and that will be led by Charlton Singleton, mm -hmm. um, who is an amazing jazz artist. He's been on our show numerous yes. times. He yes. is a wonderful guy, uh -huh. and he's going to lead our camp, um, teaching the students, but also uh, engrossing them in the history of jazz in Charleston as well. Uh -huh. And the exciting part is, as the finale. Um, of the camp, the students will be able to join Pete Martini on stage in our performance hall and do the final number with the orchestra. That is so cool. Yes. Tell us about, you know, your position. You ladies work full time at the Go Yard. Mm -hmm. You are the uh, education director. Yes. Uh, full time as an education director at a Go Yard, uh, the, the, the symphonic. Uh, room that's there, the symphonic hall that's there, plus some other things, uh, some of the um, uh, banquet halls that are there. Mm -hmm. It must keep you pretty busy because you have a lot of students coming and it going does, for various but, reasons. It uh, does, but my passion is education, especially mm -hmm. arts education. Mm -hmm. So it has been truly uh, a wonderful and exciting year. We brought uh, almost 20,000 students into our facility this year, mm -hmm. just in the seven short months that we've been open. Mm -hmm. The part, um, I'm a former Title I school teacher, and the part that I truly believe in the most is that our uh, experiences are barrier-free for all children. So mm -hmm. this season alone, we funded 13,000 students to come to the performing arts and that included their bus transportation. That is fantastic. Yeah. And when you say you funded, that also comes from donations that have Oh yeah, as we well. have to find all of that funding. Oh yeah, a lot, But we lot, have lot some of... amazing donors in our community. We're always looking for more. A lot of phone calls, and, a lot of lunches. Yes. <laughs> and this concert's a really great way that people can get involved mm -hmm. in our mm -hmm. education program and get a chance to see the, the performance hall and hear a really fantastic concert. Mm -hmm. um, so we would love for people to get the chance to see what our education program is, is doing. Mm -hmm. um, and get to hear those students and get to see an international concert at the same time, um, mm -hmm. all by coming out and seeing Pete Martini on July the 26th. And I can imagine the faces on the children the first time walking into the concert mm -hmm. hall. They're just like mesmerized at the beauty, uh, how majestic it is, but then how great the sound is as well. It's yeah. overwhelming, and it's been a life-changing experience for a lot of our children. Uh, unknowing to a lot of our donors and employees, most uh, of the children that came to our facility this year had never even been to downtown Charleston, mm -hmm. and many of them had never been to a live performance. Absolutely. July 26th is coming up. How can folks get tickets for this? Um, they can visit our website, gilliardcenter.com, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. or give our box office a phone call, um, and they'll be happy to get their tickets for them. Um, and we think it's going to be just a really unique opportunity. Um, Pink Martini hasn't done this. Mm -hmm. but in a couple of other places, and we are just thrilled that they chose Charleston as um, one of the locations that they really wanted to give kids that opportunity. Absolutely. Give them a call, 242-3099. Ladies, thank you so thank very you. much. Thank you. We've got more coming up with uh, Low Country Live in just a moment. Stay with us.